Hi Holly. Hi Nicole. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. So we're going to do a lesson on laundry. So we're going to start with the basics, which is sorting laundry. So we've got two piles. We've got our whites, which consist of grays and white, mm -hmm. and our darks, which consist of black and bright colors. Okay. Okay, so we'll get started and we'll start sorting. So where would this go? Gray is light. What about this one? That's light. Mm -hmm. Or this? That's a dark. Yes. Good job. And the red? Well, that one's bright, so it goes with darks, right? Yes. Good job. Mm -hmm. And what about these? Those are dark, too. Perfect. So now that we have all of our sorting done, it's time to go put it in the wash. Okay. All right. Great job. So before you put things in the washer or the dryer, make sure you check the tags for the, all the special instructions. So now that we're at the washing machine, we have to put the clothes in and make sure that you spread them evenly around so they all get a good cleaning. There we go. Perfect. So do you know what we have to do next? Um, turn it on. Mm, close, but we have to add the... Laundry detergent first. Oh. Okay. And we're going to add a fabric softener as well. The laundry detergent cleans the uh, clothes and the fabric softener freshens it. It makes it smell nice. Smells good. And it makes it softer. Have a smell. Mm, that does smell really good. Yes, it mm. does. Okay, so we're going to put a cap each of those. You can go ahead. Yeah, make sure to spread it all the way around. Perfect. Holly, now that we have our whites in there, we need to adjust the settings on here. So there's a water level. So if you're going to do a lot of clothes, you'd want a high water uh, level. If you're going to do a, like a medium load, you're going to want a medium. And if you have a little amount of clothing, you're going to do a low. So since we only have a few clothes in there, we're just going to switch it over to a low setting. Okay? And now we have our temperature. So for white clothing, which we're doing, we're going to want a hot temperature because all the colors are similar so we won't have to worry about them bleeding into each other. So that means them like leaking colors and things onto other clothing. So if you have like a mixture of both, so you have like a couple things in there that are lights and darks, you're going to put it on this one and then the cold is for um, clothing that is darks so that you don't have to worry about them bleeding into each other. So we're going to have it on the hot there and then over here is the time that we want it to be washed for. So, um, since we have a uh, normal amount of clothing in there, then it's going to be on a normal setting. So if you're washing towels or something like that, you might want it to be longer, just to make sure that they all um, get clean. And if you're washing delicates, then um, you're going to want a less time frame. So, to turn it, you got to push in. And then you're going to turn it all the way to the 14 here. Turn, push it in, there you go. Perfect. And then to do it, yeah, you just start it, you just pull it out. Perfect. So Holly, now that our whites are out of the washer, it's time to put them in the dryer. So you can go ahead and throw them in there. in the dryer we got to start it so since we have a normal load we're gonna go to normal and we're gonna do more dry just to make sure that our clothes are dry when we're ready for them so if you are gonna do a delicate load you're gonna want to go to the delicate setting just because you're not gonna need as much time and normally with delicates 
um, you're going to want to hang them to dry. Otherwise, they might wrinkle and then you have to iron them. And that's a different thing. So, if you have towels, they're going to need more time to dry because there's more fabric. Mm. Okay. So, and when it's on that, then you just push the button and you start it. Dryer. I always love to smell them. Isn't that just a rewarding smell? Oh, yeah. 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 So now we have to fold it and put it away in our drawers, okay? Mm -hmm. So the way I do it is I hold it up and I put my fingers on it and I fold the arms behind, lay it flat, fold it over, and then fold it over one more time. And that's how I fold my shirt. Okay. Do you want to give that a try? So sleeves back, mm -hmm. fold in half. Yep. Half again. Yep. Beautiful. Well, that looks awesome. So that's how you fold a t-shirt. Okay. If we're going to fold a sweater, I do it the same way. It's just bigger and you have more material to work with. Okay. So you just fold the arms behind, fold it in half. These ones I only fold in half once because it would be too thick if you fold them half twice. I'll give that one a try. Perfect. Add that to our pile. <coughs> and then for pants. I fold them in half and then I grab this part and I pull it out and you got to make sure that it's nice so you don't get wrinkles and then you fold it in half again and in half again and you can okay. do it with the button if you'd like. Mm -hmm. Great job. So socks, when you do socks, you take two matching socks and you just fold them into each other. Okay. Okay, I'll you want to try with that one? Those ones are harder because they're big. Perfect. Great job. The last step of laundry is to put it away. Great job today. Isn't laundry fun?